What flavor is this? Babe cartridge? The holy vegetables? What's up guys? Okay, so as you can see I'm already ready. Um, it's still kind of raining outside, but it's not raining as bad. So, we're gonna go out today. I bought eyeliner guys okay i'll insert the clip here of me excitedly finding it at target when i went the first time completely sold out gone just empty truly unfortunate but i have it now and am i still gonna keep scraping the bottom of the barrel of this one yes until i absolutely cannot anymore Wait. am i just like you huh uploading some stuff onto my laptop from my SD cards, which is why you guys are positioned in a totally different way from what is usual. But it's okay. It's loading and hopefully it'll finish before we leave. I'm saucy, living in the saucy. My blush. Okay, this is the fit and the hair as well. Oh, I gotta fix this one a little bit. This is what it looks like. Uh, I'm really pretty. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Broke it. You broke it? Mm -hmm. <gasps> it just keeps breaking. Oh no. Should have used the fork. And that's our It's car. literally gonna it's gonna come out of the This is why. Yeah, look, it looks like a broccoli. <laughs> I'm crying. It looks like um what is that called? The holy vegetables? The holy one? Yeah, the holy vegetables. Like Brussels sprouts? They sing. No, they sing. They sing. <laughs> no, they don't. They sing the vegetables. Veggie it's a tail. Veggie tail. I was like, they sing. I couldn't. I was like, vegetable. <laughs> All of this looked like bad jello, girl. <laughs> Wait, they really gave us a fork to mix? <laughs> yeah. And to eat. What flavor is this? Babe cartridge? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What the? There's a face! <laughs> Oh 
next. Look, this is what we have so far. <gasps> My sausage. The broccoli. My cabbages. <laughs> There are imprints right there. <laughs> it looks like my hair's cut. <laughs> I don't know what that is, it's just not right. These are my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, on the fingers. You're making it too thin. I'm sorry, I got scared. That is not spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I think I made it too big. <laughs> a pile of shit. <laughs> There's the protein. Greens. <laughs> Did you just make the face? 5 a.m. It's roll not it. Roll it. It's you're not fine. Stained. Just roll it. I can't. You can. You're doing it. Oh my god. Three rolls. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Looks like a coin on a cob. <laughs> it looks so Why'd you cool? unroll it? Because it looks too... It doesn't look right. You said bad. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> oh. Oh. She, she made us a corn on a cob. <laughs> oh.
I changed out of my work clothes already and took off my lashes, but I kind of figured I can do like a get unready with me since I've been doing a lot of get ready with me's. So we're in for a little bit of a chit chat. Can't find my chapstick, but give me a second because my lips are dry. Okay, now that my lips are not bursting at the seams. What's up guys? Um, I just wanted to do like a little chit chat video where I get unready and kind of come down after work. I have to grab my makeup remover and some cotton pads, but I'm also gonna be doing my hair care routine because I haven't done it since I got my hair re-dyed and I think it's been a little bit over a week since I got it done. Yeah, it's been like nine days, 10 days. So I got off of work early today and had plans, but then had the plans canceled because some stuff happened. So then I just came straight home. I'm home alone currently. So I figured why not film a little bit of a video? I wore blush to work today, so I'm like, ugh. Ooh, ooh. Oh. I'm definitely not gonna use that. Lately, I know I've been posting on my YouTube shorts that I am like on a little bit of, um, oh, that hurt. On like a fitness journey. And I know that lately I have not been eating like I'm on a fitness journey. So that's something I kind of wanted to change because, you know, what you fuel your body with is like really what makes a difference. Like, yeah, working out, but also making the difference is also like kind of what you eat. But like, I really don't want to have an unhealthy relationship with food again because I've had some problems in the past. So I really, really want to make sure that I'm eating properly and like not feeling like I need to go to extremes to lose weight and whatnot. So this is recommended by my personal like hair colorist who like does my hair and um, she told me it's fine for colored hair. So, but I'm going to go in with the Olaplex number zero um, really quick on my dry hair. Ooh. Okay, there we go. That thing is, this is like low key complicated to open. Okay, so I just like to get it like a little bit of everywhere. And then I keep this on for like, she says 10 minutes. So I keep this on for about 10 minutes after I comb it from root to tip. Yeah, work was like pretty slow. So then I just got, I just went home. Cause I was just like, okay, well. So actually, I also kind of wanted to share that I'm getting into like P1 Harmony and like ATs. Really, I don't know, I really like both of their music. I just kind of wanted to share that because I know that it's kind of well known that I like Itzy and Hypen and Seventeen just because those are the concert videos that I currently have up. So I just wanted to like bring that back around again because I'm getting into more groups and I don't know. I, I like a lot of groups with like very very different music let me set my timer for 10 minutes but i brought that up because if you guys have any recommendations on like groups and or songs girl or boy group and then like any of their songs that like i should listen to i would deeply appreciate if you guys commented below and like some suggestions some suggestions um and like k-dramas too if any of you guys watch k-dramas um but yeah so that would be kind of sick if I had some suggestions. So I've been really ordering matcha lattes lately, but I've also been making them at home just because like I have the matcha and like, you know, obviously it's, it's cheaper than going out every day and getting a matcha. So yeah, that's also like something, like I have a little YouTube short of that. And then I made, I think I have, a, I have two YouTube shorts of me making a matcha latte. So there's those, you know, my brother is really, really into coffee. So I know when we were in Korea, he tried a coffee at one of the cafes that we went to and he said it was the best coffee he's ever had. And genuinely I hated it, but like, I also don't have taste buds for coffee. So I'm trying to get a little bit more into coffee though. I do like, I like coffee. It's just, you know, the one that he got was black and like very strong very bitter but he says it was amazing but i want to get into coffee more like i just dyed yaz's hair gray so that we look like we are twins we also get that reference i'm sure you guys know from your mom ashley 
and her sister Amber because they call themselves the beautiful twin sisters. There's a whole story behind it. Yeah, so that's why Yaz and I are always laughing and like referencing that because people, it, like since we've moved to LA, a lot of people assume that Yaz and I are twins or that like I'm younger than him when it's like the other way around. I'm older than him. But yeah, anyways, so I just dyed his hair gray. Um, So he looks pretty good. I'm actually kind of proud. He's happy with what it looks like. That video will be out soon because that video kind of took us really, 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 really long to film. There were some things that happened um, after Yaz tried to surprise me with like dyeing his hair before I came home from work. It's a long story. Just watch the video and I, I think I explain it a little bit, but I didn't want to go into too much detail just because Yaz didn't want me dragging anybody, so I'm not going to drag anyone. Anyways, moving on, I really miss Korea because genuinely LA does not have a good transportation system. And like, actually, if our transportation system, public transportation system was as good as Korea's or even New York's, I would literally use that and I'd sell my car like a hundred percent. I wish it was like as good as New York or as good as Korea, but unfortunately it's not. That's like one thing I really miss about Korea because I'm like, wow, it's just so convenient to like be able to train and or subway everywhere. There's a lot of things I miss about Korea. I miss shopping there. I'm sure like people that live there are probably sick of the things that they see, but because I live in America and I have like these same options that I feel are like the same thing over and over again. Like I pro I feel the same way, you know? But then when you go to another country and then you see their clothes and it's just totally different from what you like see every day, it's just so exciting, honestly. <laughs> I really miss it there. I really really want to go back. I really want to go back and also Also, I want to go to the line friend store because now new jeans has like a new Like or like they have their collection there But now they have like the little keychains of them as like powerpuff girls and I think that is so freaking cute and Genuinely sad that like I missed that but it's okay. It's okay when I go back I'm literally I'm gonna be so excited and I'll let you guys know first when we book our tickets and when we decide to go and whatnot. My 10 minutes is almost up. This next um, Olaplex is literally going to like kind of drench my hair. Yeah, till it's saturated. I wore them to work like in braids, but I took them out because I thought I had planned. So I was like low-key getting ready and then they fell through. Um, oh, I can throw this one away. I have a bunch of like post-it notes that remind me to do things um, because I'm genuinely so bad at remembering to do things. I actually do that and then I set reminders on my phone. What I'm watching, I am watching Spy X Family season two with Yaz right now. I'm watching Pose still. I'm on season two. Um, oh my gosh, Yaz and I haven't even finished Lord of the Rings. We have like an hour left of the last movie, the extended version, and we literally haven't finished it. I am reading, this is the Demon Slayer volume I'm on. Oh, 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 oh. What is this, 16? I'm on 16. I don't know, I think there's 23 or 24. I can't remember. I'm on 16. Um, I don't even know where I'm at. I think I just started reading it actually. Actually, I haven't even finished A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I really fell out of everything. We're actually gonna go in with Olaplex number three. This is supposed to go from root to tip as well. You're supposed to like saturate your hair with it. So, oh, look at this. Do you see this? Oh, I'm so dumb. This stuff is actually low-key expensive though. My hair colors has like low-key been telling me, actually Heike, been telling me to buy this product and start using it for like, I think I did this to my, I think I dyed it gray in August of 2022 because I think I dyed it for the 17 concert. And so the 17 con, yeah, that was August 2022. So she's been telling me since maybe like, my second touch up, my first or second touch up. So probably late that year. And like, I just now bought it. You know, here we are in 2024 <laughs> um, uh, doing it and we're doing the thing and we're taking care of ourselves this year, honestly. That's why I started that little fitness journey in my YouTube shorts because I really wanted to hold myself accountable for that and I just, I'm honestly sick of myself like saying that I'm gonna lose weight or that I'm gonna do this or that I'm gonna do that and then like not following through, so. And I just wanted to like, I just wanted 2024 to be a year of growth and like taking care of myself, um, like mentally, physically and like, 
all of that. Okay, so for the Olaplex number three, you have to like very, very much like saturate your hair. My hair is like very saturated actually. Um, I'm just combing it through so that I can evenly distribute it among all of my hair. My hairstylist, she told me to keep it on for about 45 minutes before I shower. That's what we're gonna do. I'm happy that I was able to kind of set some money aside and put it towards taking care of myself because that's something I really want to do in 2024, genuinely. I'm gonna go wash out my, um, wash out all of this product. I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna do the last step. Okay, so I just like towel dried my hair and I realized that like I had not even done my nighttime skincare. Actually, I um, had to stop using my retinol because it like really, really dried out my skin. Well, this I stopped using it a little while ago, so I think I'm gonna ease myself back onto it. This is the leave-in conditioner that I've been using. It smells so good. So while this little leave-in is settling in, I'm gonna bring you guys to the bathroom, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a heads up. The wider light in our bathroom turns our vent on. It might be like orange light, so yeah, I'm just letting you guys know. This is the light without the, like, the vent. But this is what it looks like with the vent on and the white light. It's just so loud. I'm just gonna turn it off and then we'll just hang out in this orange light and there we go. So, I'm just gonna like rinse my face really quick. And this is just my regular uh, cleanser that I always use. So this is my toner. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I am literally just sharing what I actually use on like a daily basis. Yeah, none of this video is sponsored, promise. If it was, I'd be super pumped. This is the one I got on Jeju from the industry like house or Jeju house, I think it's called, I don't remember. It's in my Jeju vlog. I've been using this sparingly because I don't actually know if I can get this on the actual website. I have not yet checked, but I would be heartbroken if I cannot. And I'm gonna use the retinol because I don't, I remember reading somewhere that you shouldn't use retinol and vitamin C or that like, Something I don't know. I just remember reading that somewhere. So I'm just gonna save myself the pain and suffering if that is the case um, I'll look it up later, but for some reason that doesn't feel right. But anyways, so this is my retinol I'm just using a little bit because honestly, I'm low-key scared. I'm gonna start Like drying out like I did the last time I used it, but this is what I use I use this sunscreen because my skin is very, very, very dry. And this is what my dermatologist recommended. So this is what I use and it has SPF. So I figured like, why not? Oh, oh my God, I totally forgot a step. Oh my God, that is hella crazy. Okay, wait, I'm hella silly goofy for that. Oops, pause. I have to use this. This is my prescription tretinoin. I use this like, cause my dermatologist told me this is gonna be like great for my skin. And I believe her, like my skin kind of looks great. Anything she says goes. Love that girl. And she's so nice. I literally, I deeply appreciate it. I have the tretinoin all over my face and then there's my sunscreen. So let's do that before I drop the sunscreen on accident or something happens. But the problem is, is that this tretinoin is literally supposed to stay on for 15 minutes. Like it's supposed to soak into my skin for 15 minutes and that's a little silly goofy of me because I have to hold my freaking sunscreen for 15 minutes while this soaks in. If you're still here, I deeply appreciate you. Hello, love that for you. Love that you've been hanging out with me. If you're not, that's totally fine too. Sometimes I have to come back to a video or sometimes I just stop watching a video, that's fine. Like, I feel like my skin looks really good. Thank you and shout out to my dermatologist.